I have a word. And it comes from Luke chapter 6, verse 32. And it says, But if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. God is calling us to love people, to love one another. In 1 John chapter chapter uh, 4, excuse me, chapter 4 verse 12 it says, "No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us. If we love one another, God abides in us." And his love has been perfect in us. But this we know that we abide in him and he is in us because he has given us his spirit. So if you love others, then God's spirit abides in you. That means that God is in you. But the Bible also says that if, if you love somebody that loves you, what credit is that to you? What credit is that? Because even sinners love people. They do the same thing. And they do nice, they do good things to people. The sinners even do that. But God is calling us to love those who we feel like are unlovable. Jonah, when God told him to go to Nivea, the prophet Jonah, he ran. He said those people are not lovable. Those people are not worthy to receive what God was calling him to do. So he ran the opposite direction and found himself in the belly of a whale. There are people, I want to speak to you right now. There are people who are listening to me right now. And God has called you to help some people. And you're saying they're not worthy to be helped. God has called us to love the person but hate the sin. So even though people that have done so many bad things to you, that have treated you so mean, and God had to work with me on this, that have treated you so bad and so mean, God is calling you to love that person. And for you to love them is to show love, is to show love to them. You see, again, the Bible says this. It says that, it says, no one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us. So if you love that person, I know I'm talking about sometime God will have you to go witness to them. God will have you be kind to them. God will have you treat them kind. It says, and his love and his love has been perfect in us. If we could love that person that we feel like is not lovable. You see, when Jonah was thrown in the belly of the well for three days, he pr prayed and cried out to God and he was obedient and he went where God told him to be. Uh, uh, some people that are listening to me right now, things have not been working out with you. And you've been saying, well, the reason why this stuff is happening to me is because God is calling me to come closer to him. Yes, you're right. But also God has told you to do something. And you're saying, I'm not going that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to show love to that person. I'm not going to forgive them. I'm not going to. And so you have been thrown in the belly of the well, basically. You have been, you have went the opposite direction as Jonah had. Jonah went the opposite direction of what God told him to do. He was saying, I'm not loving those people. Those people are not lovable. I'm not dealing with them. They don't deserve for me to go and, and preach the gospel to them. Whatever the situation was, he ran. And he said, I'm not doing it. Then when he was obedient, he went to God and or he went and did what God told him to do. And long story short, the people repented. There are some people that you don't even like, that you don't even want to be around. And God has called you to witness to them people. God has called you to show love to those people. See, when we show love, through when we show love, that's God being inside of us. It says it right here. His word says it. It says that if we love one another, God abides in us and his love has been perfect in us. By this, we know that he abides in him and he is, is in us because he has given us his spirit. So that means if he's given you his spirit, that means that you're showing love to other people. But when you run from them, you find yourself in a situation whereas, Lord, why am I going through this? Why isn't my healing working? Why isn't this working? A lot of times we've opened the door up to sin. We've opened the door up to disobedient. God has told us to love people, love certain people, or love someone, or forgive someone, and we just decided, I'm not doing it. But God said that's the, one of the greatest gifts is to love people. It's so easy to love somebody that loves you. It's so easy to help somebody that, that loves you. 
Maybe there's someone who has lied on you. Maybe there's someone who has talked about you. Maybe there's someone who has tried to tear your character down. Can you love that person? Can you forgive that person? Can you extend your hand out to that person? Do you understand that if we love a person that hates us, do you know how, how big that is? Seriously, that's big. And then we always say, well, I want God to bless me. I want God to do all these things for me. But we don't want to do what he asked us sometimes to do, and that's loving people. We can, we can do all the other things, but sometimes, come on, saints, sometimes when God asks us to go and show love to that person, go extend your hand to that person, go and forgive that person. We don't want to do that. We're like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going there. And so we run the other way. We run like Jonah did, and Jonah was thrown in the well, in the belly of the well for three days. And a lot of things that are going on right now in your life is, come on, is, is brought on by disobedience. God has called you to come up higher. And that coming up higher, getting over that Jericho wall is loving that other person. It's loving that person that treated you so mean. That person that lied on you. That person that told that big, gigantic, horrible lie on you that you just can't believe that they did. But at the same time, God is calling you to love them. God allowed it to happen so that you can, so that his glory will show. That's God's glory showing on you. Because if you can love somebody that did something like that, that's the glory of God on you. When you when when you're when God's love is showed in you, his spirit is showed in you, that person says, Man, even though I treated them so wrong, they still extend their hand out to me to love me. Even though I talked about them so mean and so bad, they still extended their hand out to me. A lot of times we feel like that we don't have to we don't have to love them. You know, God don't call us to love people. But we are in debt to show love. And in being in debt is that we'll always have this debt to pay. And the debt is to show love. Show love to a person. Forgive that person. How many times? Forgive them as many times as God tells you to forgive them. In the Bible, it says 77 times 7. I may not have that correct, but I know it's 7-7. Seven, seven. And God says to forgive them and to continue to forgive them. When somebody does something, just think about it. We're not here forever. We're going to glory. One day we're going to we're going to meet up with God in glory. And when we go there, we're not going to be hating people. We're not going to be disliking people. We're not going to be standing around, you know, being bitter and 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 murmuring about what somebody did. All of that. None of that stuff. We're not going to be partying. We're not going to be doing none of this stuff, this earthly stuff. And that's why God says, "Do not be conformed to this world." But when you don't forgive people, that's conformed to this world because the world teaches us to hate people. The world teaches us to not forgive. The world teaches us to fight and bicker and complain and murmur about what somebody did to you. But God says to forgive. So today, God is asking you to forgive 